working as a nurse at Nightingale Hospital was my dream job. The state-of-the-art facility was known for its exceptional patient care and a warm, friendly atmosphere. For the longest time, my days were filled with fulfilling routines and smiles from the patients I cared for. One quiet evening, as I prepared for my night shift, I noticed an old, dusty medical chart lying on a neglected shelf. Intrigued, I picked it up, and the name written on it sent a chill down my spine. The chart belonged to a patient who had died under mysterious circumstances years ago. I brushed off the unease, assuming it was merely a coincidence, as the night progressed, I began to feel an unshakable sense of being watched. The hospital's well-lit corridors seemed to darken in my presence, and every now and then, I caught fleeting shadows out of the corner of my eye, patients on Ward B5, the hospital's oldest wing, started complaining of vivid nightmares and hearing unsettling whispers in their sleep. They spoke of seeing a ghostly figure wandering the halls, draped in a tattered hospital gown, its eyes hollow and void of life, rumors spread among the staff, with many believing the hospital to be haunted by the vengeful spirit of a patient who had died years ago under suspicious circumstances. The patient, known as, the wandering soul, was said to have been wronged in life and was now seeking retribution from those who worked in the hospital. I tried to dismiss the rumors as mere superstitions, but the creepy events only escalated. On one particularly eerie night, I was assisting an elderly patient in Ward B5 when the lights suddenly flickered and died. The patient clutched my arm, fear evident in her eyes as she claimed to see the ghostly figure lurking in the shadows. Chills ran down my spine as I peered into the darkness, but when I turned back to the patient, the figure was gone. The elderly woman trembled in my arms, insisting that the wandering soul was still there, waiting for its chance to exact revenge, as days turned into nights, the hospital seemed to take on a life of its own. Equipment malfunctioned, alarms blared for no apparent reason, and patients in Ward B5 continued to experience unexplained disturbances. One night, as I was checking the medical charts, I felt a sudden gust of icy wind sweep through the ward. The room felt charged with malevolence, and I sensed the presence of something otherworldly. I looked up to see the ghostly figure standing before me. Its hollow eyes staring into my soul. Paralyzed with fear, I couldn't move or scream. The figure reached out a spectral hand, and a chilling voice filled the air, whispering words that I couldn't comprehend. After what felt like an eternity, the figure vanished, leaving me shaken, terrified. The haunting encounters continued, and I felt a growing sense of dread every time I stepped into Ward B5, determined to put an end to the malevolent presence, I began researching the hospital's history, hoping to find a way to appease the wandering soul. Through old records, I discovered the patient's tragic story of betrayal and negligence by the hospital staff, armed with this newfound knowledge. I gathered the hospital staff and shared the story, urging them to acknowledge the past and seek forgiveness from the restless spirit. As we stood in Ward B5, I could feel a shift in the atmosphere, as if the wandering soul was listening, determined to bring closure to the unsettling incidents, I decided to take action beyond the confines of the hospital. I informed the police about the strange occurrences, including the presence of the ghostly figure, and shared the patient's tragic story. With the evidence of negligence and mistreatment coming to light, an investigation was launched into the hospital's past practices. Shocking revelations emerged, exposing the mistreatment of patients in Ward B5 and the dark secrets that had long been buried. The hospital's administration, once dismissive of the haunting rumors, now faced scrutiny and accountability. The culprits responsible for the patient's mistreatment were identified, and justice was served as they were punished for their crimes. With the truth finally acknowledged, the malevolent presence that had plagued Ward B5 seemed to diminish further. The hospital underwent significant changes, implementing stricter protocols to ensure patient care and safety. As time passed, the atmosphere at Nightingale Hospital gradually transformed. The sense of malevolence and unease that had once lingered within its walls dissipated, replaced by a renewed commitment to providing compassionate and exemplary care to its patients, I continued my work as a nurse, relieved that the hospital had confronted its dark past and taken steps to ensure it would never repeat those mistakes. The memory of the haunting incidents would forever be etched in my mind, a chilling reminder of the sinister forces that can lurk even in the most reputable places. 
Yet, I also found solace in knowing that the spirits of the past had finally found peace, and that the hospital could now embrace its true purpose of healing and hope. Nightingale Hospital had undergone a transformation, not just in its physical infrastructure, but in its very essence, a beacon of light in the face of darkness, where compassion triumphed over malevolence. From that day on, the hospital felt lighter, as if a heavy burden had been lifted. Patients in Ward B5 reported no more nightmares, and the eerie occurrences ceased. The wandering soul seemed to find solace in the hospital's acknowledgement, finally finding rest after years of unrest, though the events had left me deeply affected. I continued my work at Nightingale Hospital, now with a heightened awareness of the unseen forces that can linger in the most unexpected places. The haunting experience had taught me that sometimes, darkness and malevolence can hide within the familiar and routine, and that the past can come back to haunt us if left unresolved.